Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Citra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist where I talk all about health, pharmacy and beauty. In today's video, I'm going to review powdered sunscreen, how safe and effective they are at protecting your skin from sun damage and are they pharmacist recommended. So don't go anywhere, keep watching. <laughs> of powdered sunscreen is a hot topic. You see so many new products hit the market but what exactly is powdered sunscreen? Well the active ingredients in most powdered sunscreens are mineral powder, zinc oxide and titanium oxide and as far as mineral powder is concerned it is hypoallergenic, uh, safe for sensitive skin and it actually does provide reliable sun protection for your skin. Zinc oxide I think is one of the best sunscreen UV filter in my opinion and it actually provides broad spectrum protection against not only UVB but also UVA. The third ingredient in uh, powdered sunscreen I want to talk about is titanium oxide. Now this actually blocks UVB very well but it actually just weakly blocks the UVA which UV rays actually play a big role in wrinkle formation and are actually out all day uh, including before 10 a.m. and after 3 p.m. and also in winter. So I would never recommend purely using titanium oxide sunscreen. I would say you can use it in combination with zinc oxide because then you'll get the protection from both UVA and UVB. All right, now that you know a quick rundown of the ingredients, I would say that these ingredients are pretty standard for any sunscreen, but mind you, in powdered sunscreen, these ingredients are in powder form. And my biggest concern is inhaling these particles because in liquid form, these ingredients come as nanoparticles, which are so small that they cannot pass into the body. So I recommend when applying powdered sunscreen, literally hold your breath. And I know it might sound a little bit crazy, but trust me, you don't need powder in your lungs because it could be toxic. Also, you're looking for sun protection on your skin, not on your lungs. Another concern I have about the powdered sunscreen is coverage. I think you can't really get an even application of powdered sunscreen because powder application is erratic. The powder is really light and it disperses unevenly across your skin. So it's simply not possible to get a perfect uh, powdered sunscreen coverage of SPF 30 or 50 that's labeled on the product. See, it's very important to use a sunscreen correctly. And when we are using our traditional liquid uh, sunscreen, then we are always told that you have to have at least one fourth of a teaspoon of uh, sunscreen on your face to get that good coverage. And you have to like reapply it every two hours. Now, when you are using powdered sunscreen, you cannot get that one fourth of a teaspoon amount on your skin, obviously. So if you are using a powdered sunscreen, it's very, very important that you try to apply it evenly to make sure it covers the entire area. So what I recommend is brush the powdered sunscreen onto your skin using like small circular motions. And I can actually show you, I have this powdered sunscreen from Derma. I normally use this over my makeup. so. I have already primed mine but of course when you're gonna use the sunscreen make sure you have primed it and and for that you're just gonna put it upside down your brush facing your hand and then just gently pat and then you just basically go over your face in small gentle circular motions and cover the entire exposed skin now I really recommend using the powdered sunscreen on your face because you've applied makeup so you don't want to mess up your makeup by using the liquid sunscreen um, but for the rest of the body, since you haven't applied a makeup, I really recommend using the liquid or a gel form. But anyways, you just have to go in circular motions just like that and make sure you cover the entire area of your face. Just like so. And for the purpose of the video, I was talking, but I shouldn't be when applying the sunscreen. Like I said before, you don't wanna inhale the contents of the powdered sunscreen. And make sure you make two passes of the powdered sunscreen on your area like pass it all over your face twice and ensure that each pass is of a total 60 seconds just so it's evenly applied see when you think of sunscreen your mind probably jumps to a thick goopy lotion that smells way too strong and feels overly sticky 
So I would agree that yes, powdered sunscreens are beneficial to those who wear uh, makeup in summer or just in general and don't want that greasy feeling of lotion. Like I said, I personally use the powdered sunscreen when I have put on makeup and I don't want to mess up my makeup. So uh, yes, in that case, it's a great idea to use a powdered sunscreen. But if you ask me that can you use the powdered sunscreen as your only form of sun protection, then my answer is a big no. See, powdered sunscreen should not be your primary form of sunscreen. It should be just used as touch-ups during day-to-day -day sun exposure. I really recommend that you apply a nice thick coating of creamy sunscreen under your makeup uh, and then powdered sunscreen will definitely come in handy when you want to actually mattify your face and reapply sunscreen without disturbing your makeup. In fact, tinted powder sunscreens can be used as a mineral makeup to soften the complexion and kind of for the retouch of the makeup. Anyways, the bottom line is that the powdered sunscreen is your pharmacist approved. But wait, depending on your skin type, activity level, and desired coverage, there are a few things that you want to keep in mind when you are choosing the best powdered sunscreen. Firstly, you want to kick up the SPF. Look for a broad spectrum powdered sunscreen that's SPF 30 or higher. And secondly, mind your skin type because powdered sunscreens sit on the top of the skin and they'll be your best friend if you have oily or acne prone skin. Now, if you have dry skin, look for sunscreens with finer powders that contain hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid or ceramides. And lastly, don't forget to reapply. Like any other sunscreen, it's important to reapply your SPF every two hours. And in fact, powdered sunscreens make this process much easier since you can simply touch up over your makeup and you don't have to get your hands all messy and dirty. But it's important to note that powdered sunscreens are not water resistant for longer periods of time. So be sure to read the label if you plan on uh, spending time in the water. I mean, even the liquid sunscreens are not water resistant for a long time. So literally reapplication is the key. All right, so that's it for today's pharmacist recommended video. I hope you found this recommendation helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to review a product in my pharmacist recommended series. And thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss on any of the informative videos on health, pharmacy, and beauty. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.